it's getting interesting. We talked a lot about dating. And we had two VC companies. Now there's a company which kind of grew on their own. Uh, Michel, deputy CEO of Badu, is going to talk about dating. And can you sit here? Because I have I a really stiff neck by now. Um, I'm now, sorry to hear it. <laughs> no, I'm always looking this way. Um, so dating is one of those things which have been around for ages, right? Yes. I mean, I remember a lot of Germans in here, Parship and these things started early, which was actually a company from Reiner uh, many years ago. You guys, um, I think, are what? In terms of establishment, the KPIs, give us a little bit of... Who we are. Who you are, exactly. Um, hello, evening. Um, Badu is the world's largest social network for meeting new people. We have 270 million registered users. We generate hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue every year. Um, our vision is to make uh, Badu the easiest, fastest way for people to meet new people locally and globally. And we don't think there should be any limits on how you can meet people. So we provide our users with a multitude of features um, and opportunities to make sure that they meet new people around them. So you're like of the, f the Facebook of new friends to have? Yeah, I think, I think it's, a, it's just about making relationships with new people for, for, whatever, for whatever purpose, for friendship, for how, dating. How big, how big is it? So, um, 270 million registered users worldwide. We have uh, 45 million monthly actives across 45 all, million? Monthly actives across all of our platforms. Uh, we see 4 billion messages being exchanged between our users on a monthly basis, which I think is pretty... I would love to see some of those. Outstanding. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so basically, all the social stuff going on on Facebook, and by the way, Facebook is, I heard, number one divorce reason in the world. Um, so you can do the hunting kind of outside your backyard and meet people on, on Badu. But it's not just about dating, I, I recently learned. Is that right? Yeah, I think it, it's about meeting new people. And I think that there's... Is it for loners? For loners? Yeah, for people who do or move around and are moving to a city and don't have friends there and they make friends through... You can use it for whatever reason. I think that there's a real social change at the moment for people wanting to meet new people and wanting to take control and have power in order to do that. And so Badoo is provi providing a platform for people to say, I want to meet new people in a cool, socially acceptable environment and we're delighted to be part of it. So what did mobile do to your business? I mean, your business is established <coughs> six, seven, eight years ago, or? Well, we've been around since 2007. Since 2007. So we were web, obviously. It was um, all web. Yes. And what's now? We are majority mobile now. Um, we, we started the transition, I mentioned it last year, um, around 2011. And, and now, you know, we had to develop and really change our product and really understand how mobile is so different to a web-based product. Um, and that took a lot of tweaking and changing and understanding the user behavior, which is so different. And um, I think we've been incredibly successful at it because we're, we're through the other side and, and we're very happy with that. Can people pay on the platform? Do you generate revenues? We do. Uh, Badoo is a freemium model, so um, people can make micropayments in order to increase their popularity or to uh, have uh, more attention on the site. So and that's like the Google system, right? Ranked on top when the search results are coming up, or a little, a, a little, little like that, yes. Um, but we're we're highly profitable from it, um, and we've been profitable since 2009, actually. So to be around from 2007, have made the migration, uh, and now be so still very profitable, I think that makes us pretty unique in the, in the marketplace, actually. Now, talking about the dating part, um, there has been this company from the US, Tinder, and Joey Levine earlier, the CEO of Interactive Corp, told us that he kind of incubated that, that, that business. Do you think that mobile or the acceptance overall of looking for partners online have flourished the, or have driven the industry to this kind of mass market phenomena? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we've been in the market a long time. We've been here since 2007. We knew that there was um, a need and a desire in the marketplace for people to meet new people. 
um, and that technology could help advance that. And we, we've been really focused on, on building that and, and making sure that we're at the forefront of that. So there are newcomers to the market all the time. You've mentioned one. Um, I think you've got a few more coming on after us. Um, but we have, we've been around for a very long time, and I think we've had an incredible head start. I think when you've got a size and a scale and a user base like ours, it's very difficult even for the most ambitious startup to, to catch up. Um, and we don't, we're not fearful of competition. I think we, we really welcome it. Um, it keeps us fresh. It opens up the whole sector, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, it keeps us fresh, it keeps us innovative, it keeps us driving to make us uh, more ambitious and, and keep our marketplace and keep our head start. Um, I think we have a great philosophy at, at Badoo, which is be first, be confident, be bold. And I think that philosophy has really driven us into the marketplace, the uh, position in the marketplace that we've got. We test all the time. We listen to our users. We tweak. Um, we find out what works and what doesn't work. And when you have size and scale and pedigree, I think that's quite difficult to touch. So everything that's coming out in the market at the moment, um, I like to think we've inspired in some way. I think people saw our incredible growth and our incredible profitability. And, um, Are you a unicorn? I, a unicorn. I think we're a decacorn. <laughs> we're coming. It's on our roadmap. I've, I read about that recently. That's companies worth t uh, more than 10 billion, and I think that's that's definitely for us. We're very ambitious. So, so with mobile um, and obviously social networks, th there's a lot of stuff you can do, right? Um, how do you use location-based services? Yeah. So. Uh, there are, there are lots of different features on Badoo, but because we are focused on helping people meet people locally and globally, we really maximize uh, location-based and uh, geolocation services so that people can find people around them, so that you can have a real contextualized meeting. There's a reason uh, that you and I might see each other on Badoo, and it's going to be something to do with a location or a proximity, so there's a reason for us to connect okay. and a reason for us so to talk. So you take data into account to take friction out of the system. Yeah, and I think, you know, we've got to a point in time now where people don't want to leave anything to chance anymore, and we don't have to. We're in control of so many elements of our lives. If I can take it into my own hands that I want to meet people, new people who are in a, a close proxim proximity to me, I can do it. Are you bigger than Tinder? Marco, <laughs> we have um, over 270 million registered users, so I'll let you do the math on that. Um, I read recently about someone else in the marketplace had 26 million matches a day. We have somewhere in the region of three to four times that number, and matching is just one of our many features on, on the app. No, so well, it's interesting, that probably right? answers I mean, your question. The theme of the conference is competition. Yep. And we we talked about, oh, Europe doesn't have the capital, the US guys are raising so much more money, so even the products are the same, the teams are the same, the US guys get all the attention. Do you feel like a little bit sad about having been a huge company before Tinder even rose, and now you are? I don't, I don't, feel, I don't feel sad about it, because I know that we have followed our philosophy, be false, be, uh, be first, be bold, be confident. Um, and I know how, how long we've been around and how established we are. And, you know, our product is so multifaceted. It, we have so many different features and there's so many things um, available there. And as I said, we have a size and a scale and um, an interaction from our users that, no, I, it doesn't bother me. None, no one else in the marketplace bothers me. Put it that be way. bold, be first, be confident, and be fast and confident. That's what you have to think about tonight at the party at 10 p.m. <laughs> the party will be here. You sit, DJ Boos, and Marco can be a remind great you. show, and you will see me on the on the dancing floor. Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you very Wonderful much. Wonderful story. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.